All right, hello, hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your July 2018 overview reading. This is gonna be good for you if you are a sun, moon, or rising Aquarius. And I am practicing with a new film setup this month, so I hope that you all uh, grant me a little bit of patience with that. I, I think everything will be fine, but I'm still playing with it. So go ahead and feel into your sit bones. Take a few deep breaths into the diaphragm. Just bring yourself into your body as I'm pulling these oracle cards for you. Notice if you have any anxiety today, if you're having any tension, just acknowledge whatever is going on in your body at this time and give it a little hello. Okay, and I have some exciting news about a new YouTube channel that I've started for more resources for everybody and I'll share about that at the very end of this video. Okay, so the empowering question for the month that I have for you is, what is the most important thing for me in this moment? So that is the question that you can keep going back to this month, is what is most, what is the most important thing for me in this moment? So when you take a step back from the future tensing, when you take a step back from all of the other things that you need to do, what is it in the moment that's important for you? And the fairy card that I have for you is wisdom. Your divine inner wisdom is always available to you. So really pay attention to all of those lessons that you've been learning, all of the growth and experience that you've had over the past, I would say six months or so especially, is going to come up as being really big for this next um, for this next month, especially as we get into eclipse season as well. That's going to be really important. So um, get yourself present as much as you can. And the Sovereign Oracle for you is devotion. I'm hoping this focuses. I don't know if that's going to focus, but we will try. Look at the upcoming efforts through the eyes of your soul. Take up the task as if all of your heart depended on it. Apply yourself to a sacred passion with consistent presence. So again, we have this theme of presence coming up and asking yourself in the moment what matters. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm doing a modified spread that I did a few months ago, so I hope you guys like it. The central energy for Aquarius this month, the world, yet completion, all these big cycles are wrapping up. Eclipse season is going to be big for you this year because it's about the consolidation of all the lessons that you've had, all of the big work that you've been doing. That is coming up as, you know, the forefront of the month of July is going to revolve around completion, okay? So for the good and the bad, right? Remember, it's similar to the cycles of life, death and rebirth. All of that is coming up with the world. So don't fear it. It's going to be better to lean on it because you have to trust that you have good things coming in. That's what this is doing for you is it's your... You're tuning into the fact that things are changing and so that you can manifest things that are of a higher quality and that are more in affinity with you. Okay, this is what you need to release in the month of July. Three of Wands. All that future tensing, you guys, that is a big deal this month. So if you focus on the future, what's next, what's next, what's next, that is actually part of what you need to let go of because it's preventing you from actually acknowledging what you have in present time, what's around you, what there is to be grateful for in present time. And it's kind of like if you're constantly looking ahead you're going to miss what's right in front of you. So it's, it, you know, Aquarians are forward thinkers, and I get that, and it's a beautiful thing. 
And in the same breath, if you just add 5% of being present or some type of practice that's going to keep you grounded in the moment, it's going to make all the difference. This is what is in your highest good to manifest in July. Queen of Pentacles, stability. It's also a good time to start thinking about um, like the idea of legacy is coming up as well. What mark do you want to leave on the world? What, what do you want to share with other people? What do you want to do that is going to both fulfill you and sustain your life. So it's it's a good idea to start manifesting that and then the right opportunities and the right um the right events are going to unfold as long as you're setting the intention here with what you want big picture. All you have to do is do the manifesting piece, but you want to stay present so that you can bridge the gap between where you want to be and where you are right now. That's the whole point of manifestation. Now, this is your external circumstances. So what's going on around you in your environment? We have the sun. It's like you have a resurge of energy. You have a lot of um, clarity, motivation, the ideas that you want to put into practice are finally paying off. It seems like you're just back in action. And so the environment around you is one that's going to facilitate your forward movement and your expansion. So this is really, really nice to see because it's just showing that the opportunity is right for you to make all of this stuff happen. I think that it's going to be an easier month for you um, in terms of opportunity. I think that that's going to be uh, easeful if you let it. That's the one thing that I would say. If you let it, you can resist this. Remember, you can make things as challenging, as complicated, and as difficult as you want them to be. And, you know, it's just be conscious of that as you're moving through this month, that things don't have to be gruesome. They don't have to be difficult and challenging. They can be easy. This is your internal experience, more of the emotional world. We have justice. So there's definitely more release coming up in the emotional. Um, I'm going to clarify this one. You know, Aquarians are pretty gifted um, at not taking things personally. This depends on all the other stuff going on in your chart. But... It really is one of those things that I found a lot of Aquarians have the capacity to do. And you have the star. So cutting ties with whatever has been bogging you down emotionally or mentally is the biggest gift that you can give yourself in July because it's going to uh, really create a space where your manifestations and opportunities come through. So it's time to scrap the energetic vampires and the old ways of thinking. Those those have to go because that's the internal experience that you're having. And you want to make sure that you are paying attention to what improves your mood, your thoughts, your ideas, and what drags it down. If there's something that's dragging it down, then you really want to examine that and pay attention to where it's coming from and what the source is so that you can clean it up. That's what the justice card in this deck is referring to. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the timeline. As you guys know, we have the first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter of July. These might be broken down into weeks, but it's going to be a little bit more fluid for everybody. Okay, so where you start off the month is the sun again. Okay, same as this card. So it just looks like July is, um, I think it's just going to be a really enjoyable start to the month. If you are acting out of alignment with yourself and sticking true to what you want and the decisions that you're making are a reflection of your deepest desires, then July is going to be really on point for you. It's going to be a really, really, um, how do I put this? 
it is going to be a game changing month if you're putting your effort and energy into the right areas and you're getting rid of what doesn't work. So remember that. It's about what you say yes and no to. Both of those things matter just as much. Okay, card or er, quarter two, we have the Ace of Tomes. This is the Ace of Pentacles in a normal deck. So it's the, the opportunities really start rolling in, right? We have the world, we have the completion theme of the month, as well as the consolidation of all the work that you've been doing is allowing you to manifest the right opportunities. And I also want to throw out a little disclaimer that I'm getting a hit that attitude is going to matter for Aquarians when it comes to all of the opportunities that are coming in because you want to watch where your resistance is, okay, and where you're forcing it because that can also create a block. All right, and quarter three, we have the Ace of Candles. So this is the Ace of um, Wands in a normal deck. It looks like you start to get creative as well. So I think that this is going to be a solid month for both creatives and professionals. Whatever side of the aisle or if you have both of those things going on, July is going to be inspired. The right things, the right inspiration, the right opportunities are coming your way. And so this is going to be one of the months that I would recommend focusing on creative expression more so than other times. You know, we, we go through different cycles, but particularly July. July is going to be good to start, start drawing, start painting, start cooking again, start doing these creative forms of expression that make you feel a release and are going to be a really productive outlet. I think you're going to get more out of it than you realize. And wrapping up the month, we have the magician focusing on those manifestations. What are you calling in? What are you being intentional with? What are you asking for? Pay attention to the language that you're using and the words that are coming out of your mouth. All of it matters and all of it is cohesive. So remember, speak in the affirmative and pay attention to whether or not you're feeling it in your body. Okay, or what comes up in your body when you're manifesting, when you're asking for things? Do you feel resistance? Do you feel fear? What comes up for you? All right, now we're going to do a three card pick. You are welcome to pick as many cards as you'd like. You can ask questions, whatever you're feeling. Okay, and we're going to start with card number one. Think with your heart. Okay, so really listen to what's going on there. And this is, so there's a very, very fine line between listening to your heart and listening to old belief systems and patterns. So I've noticed that a lot of people get those confused, um, especially when it comes to partnership. A lot of people think that they mistake thinking with their heart for thinking with an old toxic belief system. So really make sure you're paying attention to um, where you are sitting in terms of self-esteem, where you're sitting in terms of mindset. Those things are going to give you clues on whether or not you're thinking with your heart or with an old belief system. Okay, and card number two, comparison. Look out for this this month. Comparison can be good when it's being done in a productive way where you're able to use other people as a mirror to reflect to you. That's healthy comparison because it's shining a light on some things that you may not see. But if you're using it as a way to bully yourself, criticize yourself, tear yourself down, or put yourself in a position where you don't feel worthy, then you're on the other side of comparison where it cut, you might want to take a chill pill, stay off of more of the social medias where you find yourself uh, comparing yourself to other people. Uh, pay attention to, again, what do you have around you? That's going to make a big difference this month as well as clean house in terms of what makes you feel good and bad. 
And card number three, we have base chakra. So this is the root. Resources are coming up quite large with this card. It's all about um, the way that you cultivate the things that you need. So think about the, the primal needs, touch, food, water, shelter. Um, those are going to be... Um, it, it looks like you need to remind yourself of having enough in some way, shape, or form. Because if there's any hiccup with the base chakra, it can make you have uh, scarcity outbursts. And so just make sure that you are paying attention to where you feel that scarcity and what it's trying to tell you. And then how you remind yourself that you're safe. Okay? And that is all that I have for you this month. I hope that you've enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you, everybody. Thank you so much, Aquarius. And don't forget, um, I have started the new YouTube channel. My segment, Ask a Psychic, is going to be on that channel instead. I've started doing vlogs and things just to provide more value for everybody and to let you all know that you're not alone with your intuition and hopefully I can share more resources with all of you and add even more value in your life however I can. That's what I'm here to do. And don't forget if you're looking to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of the info is in the description box as well as the new YouTube channel. It's all in the description box. And until next time, have a beautiful July everybody and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.